Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Sham Sundar. I am the founder and the managing director of a retail experience design company called Four Dimensions. We are a Bangalore-based company, but we work pan-India, and apart from India, we work in six other countries as well. So today, I want to take you through what is necessary. So we heard a lot from the young generation, the next generation, of how integrating technology, not just in the operational aspects of the store, but also how to handle it for creating better experiences for your customer is key for moving your business to the next level. So today we'll go through three important factors or aspects. What is required to keep the legacy brands? Today we are sitting in a hall where many of you are leading legacy brands. Uh, successful legacy brand for generations. So how do you reboot, refresh, and renew your existing store to ensure that you're relevant to the new age customer? So so we all know that uh, retailing today is convergence of knowing what your customers want. That is the evolving customer. A customer is ever evolving, and today's generation, it's even more. And what your company or your brand can do best for them. That is how we are looking at it. And what is this new age customer wanting, or what is that their aspiration is? One is they want choice. Choice is something which has become very imperative today. They want to connect. They want to be connected not just with the brand and also with the same generation of customers. They want the cultural aspect. We as Indians, however modern we become or however global we look, outlook we, are, we look at, we also want to have the cultural connect with our own way. We want the personalized experience which each of us want to have from the retailer or from the product we want. And finally, uh, we also heard Kevin talking about responsibility through sustainability and other aspects. So I think that is something which the care for the planet and care for the environment is something which has become a paramount element as a part of this generation. So these are the very key aspects what this generation would look at or the new age customer would look at. So I'll take you through quickly through three examples or three categories of examples which design can help in augmenting the look and feel of the store. So one is the first aspect is uh, augmenting the, uh, the store using technology. When I say technology, we are not talking about the back-end operational uh, aspects. Uh, software and other things. We are talking about purposeful and meaningful technologies which can add value and an experience to this customer. So I'll take you through one of the example, uh, a very interesting example which we have won some awards also for this project. Uh, this is a brand called Raya. Raya is a ethnic, men's ethnic wear brand uh, based out of Pune and uh, they have currently about six stores. This store, what we were uh, engaged to do is in uh, Indore, in Madhya Pradesh. This is a two-level store of almost about 6,000 square feet. Uh, so we have the uh, entrance, uh, which you see the red arrow mark, and uh, we have the next level also happening. So this is a part of a high street mall. It's not a mall by itself, but it's a complex where all the stores are, uh, the facade is visible to the uh, street. So what we did was uh, trying to understand the brand. Uh, we understood what their process was and what is that they would like to do for future. So we did a digital mapping of the entire uh, store, understanding the customer journey and what are the touch points for the customer, which we can create and add experiences as a part of the customer journey. So this is the digital mapping what we did at different parts of the store. When we were discussing with the brand in the first stage, we realized that the brand spends every 
uh, three to four months once because they not only sell through their stores, they also sell through multi-brand outlets. They have dealers and things like that. So they launch their products. Every new products, what they launch, they do a small get-together in a five-star hotel like this in an evening. They have uh, models wearing their new collection and that is launched. So what we told the uh, client was, why don't you not only uh, make your store multipurpose and have this, uh, whatever you are launching, the new products you are launching as a part of the store, but also start tagging and uh, use social media like Instagram and Facebook, et cetera, whatever you want to use. Use that and start tagging your store so that there is more visibility of your store and your products among the target audience. So the client was very much convinced. Uh, the second part also, anyway, he was partially doing it when we were engaged, that uh, he was converting the entire, uh, what he were, his offerings or products into digital catalog. So that also we've st we used that as a part of the thing. And the third one is how we connected and made a very, uh, what do you call a, uh, silly problem into a uh, very simple uh, solution. I'll take you through that. So if you see the entrance of the store, the, we created a central courtyard, a kind of a space. And at the end of the courtyard on the other side, we have a digital screen, large screen. So in a normal circumstances, when the store is running, uh, the customer enters the store. The central area, we have merchandising units and things like that. And at the end of the store, the digital screen will be carrying out as promotional videos or still images or whatever it is. But when this has to become a launch place, I'll show you the Im through the image, I think you will understand. This is the look of the store when it is in a normal uh, retailing session, okay? So this is how you look. You see the products on both the sides. You have the central courtyard kind of a thing, what we have created, and this is where the uh, customers will be seated. But when uh, the same uh, store can be converted into a complete catwalk space. So the central units are moved out, the chairs are turned around, and the background uh, digital screen is what becomes the background for your launch also. So the just behind this is the trial room. So whatever change has to happen, that change, customers will change there, uh, sorry, uh, the models will change there and walk in. So this, becomes a multi-purpose space where you can also start tagging uh, the store itself and start connecting to your target customers much more. So if this keeps on happening every two, three months, sorry, every three months or four months when they keep launching, the throughput what you get of connecting with your customers is much more higher. So this already we launched, this store was launched on December 15th uh, last year. Until now, there are two sessions of this kind of event which was done, and he's having an amazing experience. His sales have gone up by more than 20%. So this is one of the element, like what you see, how it happens. Customer, I mean, they can, uh, all your dealers and everybody can sit here, or the, uh, whoever is your stakeholders. So you also have all the digital cataloging which will help you to select. For example, what you see is the digital screen getting converted into, say for example, you don't get your size, a particular size, you try out the garment, you try out a different thing, but you like a particular color, you want to, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, want a different thing, you can order online and it gets delivered directly from your, uh, the warehouse to them. The other one which was, uh, very important was normally, especially in the bridegroom collection or the wedding collection, uh, there's a separate area which we have demarcated and uh, the bridegroom comes there. Normally you have a tendency, the family members take a camera and start clicking pictures every time the would-be bridegroom would wear a different attire. So what we did was we did a drop-down uh, telescopic uh, camera, okay, five minutes. telescopic camera and uh, it clicks the photograph every time you wear a new dress, and that's projected, I mean, directly through a very simple software next to each other. You see those three images, which are digital screen, and it's next to each other, so there's a comparison of the different attire you wear, okay? And uh, the decision-making process is much faster. So this is one more thing which was implemented, and customers are enjoying it. 
So this is where you're sitting from the other side. These are all 3D images. I'll show you the actual photographs of the store also. This is the actual photo of the store. This is what you see the central courtyard, which doubles up as the catwalk space. This is the digital screen I was talking to you at the end of the place. This is the, uh, what do you call the special zone for the bridegroom collection. The trial rooms. And this is that stage where you have the drop down camera and you have the screen and all that. Okay, so this is another project which we have done for AIS. I won't, I think uh, I'm running out of time, so I'll quickly tell you. This is for Asha India Float Glass, uh, which is an experience center for uh, UPVC uh, window systems and aluminum window systems. So again, we brought in very simple technologies to create better experiences. I'll give you one example. Uh, one of the key aspects when you uh, test and buy a window system is soundproofing. I mean, how much soundproofing that window system can provide you, especially in cities, and uh, the kind of noise we have. Normally in India, the metro cities have anywhere between 80 decibels to 110 decibels as the noise levels which are prevailing in the cities. So what we did was we created a, we simulated a balcony, uh, artificial balcony, and we played uh, the sound of the city uh, through, uh, obviously through speakers and we put a decibel meter uh, outside and one more decibel meter inside. So when you close the door, uh, outside it will show you the decibel meter as per what is there in a city. And the moment you close this window, uh, it will show you the decibels, what is cut down by the window. So it's a live example of how you can take, like that a couple of more uh, uh, things what we integrated to create a better experience and a live experience to the customer. So I'll just, uh, we also have, uh, VR. VR is just to show how this entire window systems or door system can look in your home environment. You give an AutoCAD drawing and they create, simulate uh, through VR and give you the experience. So this is all what is there as a part of that. So this is the simulated balcony what I am talking about. Okay, the second one is uh, what, how do you augment the store using culture and storytelling. Uh, again, one uh, project what we have done for an iconic brand called Mysore Sari Udyog, based out of Bangalore, but now they're expanding into different parts of South India. So this is a store done in uh, Jubilee Hills in Hyderabad, a 16,000 square feet store. Uh, so here, if you see a lot of cultural elements, cultural aspects and storytelling has been encapsulated in the store design. So one thing what we are doing and we are suggesting a lot of retailers to have uh, some flexible spaces within the store which you can use it as multi-purpose spaces. I think that's very key to the way things are evolving today. So uh, a lot of customers are also agreeing with that or clients are agreeing with that. We are doing uh, a lot of uh, small spaces, I'm not talking about large ones, we're talking about 1000 to 1500 square feet in a 50,000 square feet kind of a store. Okay, I'm not talking about large uh, spaces at all. Uh, so we also have a Kariger uh, thing, so that is for customization. You can see the Kariger there. Uh, so you can actually order the thing. Uh, uh, if you want to buy a sari, you buy a sari, uh, do some kind of customization as a part of the store. So the customers look at it in a live session, what is happening. So that's a good experience. Also collect, connecting craft and store together. So the trust levels are very high. So this is the, uh, what do you call the lenga and the bridal section. So we also have exclusive rooms, uh, especially when uh, customers come in a group, they need privacy. So we have created that also. Uh, we have four rooms. This is another brand called Narayani from uh, the RS Brothers group in uh, Hyderabad. Uh, this is a, there was, they had existing stores, but we re uh, worked on that to create a brand identity using cultural elements and the legacy elements of the brand itself. So we brought in uh, uh, the connect with the brand name itself. Narayani is Goddess Lakshmi. And uh, from that we connected a lot of elements, including the patterns, the graphic patterns, uh, to the elements like the inlays, uh, the arch what you saw in the facade and what you see in the architecture, 
all that uh, has been taken from that itself. So I'll quickly take you through this store as well. And, uh, and you see the customization of that uh, small bud, the lotus bud, which is a part of the fixture. Uh, storytelling using what uh, India stands for with respect to saris as part of visual merchandising. And finally, this last example, this is again from the RS Brothers group, a new brand called Value Zone, which is in the value format. Uh, this is a one lakh square feet store, uh, one single floor plate. Uh, this is in Hyderabad, where we wanted to position value, not just because of the product value, also create better experience for customers. So this is a old Amazon warehouse, which we converted into a retail store. So if you look at it, uh, it's one single floor plate. There was 32 feet height available. So we had to manage with the height also. And also create a experience the, for a value customer as well. So these are various elements what we have did, we have done for, uh, so it's got everything from a, what do you call a food court to play zone to everything. So it's in destination store. So that when a customer comes in, he spends a couple of hours, finishes his experience, and then goes home. So there's everything, food, luggage, etc., etc. I mean, non-food. This is the trial rooms, sorry. The billing counters. Yeah. So as I told you, we are uh, quickly last one minute. Uh, we are a 23 plus 24 year old company. Uh, we have worked with more than 100 different brands and clients across India and other countries. A team of 65 of us. And we deliver almost between the national brands we work with and the regional brands. We deliver almost 600 stores a year. Uh, so these are few of your regional clients, what we work with. I'm uh, glad and I'm, uh, that we have a lot of clients here in this hall also, and a lot of uh, national brands as well. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.